This little guy here is called a circle. You probably know that, but now I'm gonna show you something you may not know about. This pink shaded area is an example of a sector of a circle. This green shaded area is another example of a sector of a circle. And this purple shaded region is yet another example of a sector of a circle. A sector of a circle is a section of the circle created by two radii and an arc. In this video, we'll learn how to find the area of a sector. To find the area of a sector, you'll use the area of a sector formula, which is theta over 360 times pi r squared. Now that theta symbol can represent an angle measure. More specifically, in the formula, that symbol represents the measure of the sector's angle in degrees. All right, so the measure of the sector's angle in degrees. Now we know that R in that formula represents the radius of a circle. And all together, pi R squared represents the area of a circle. So to find the area of a sector, we do the measure of the angle divided by 360 times the area of the circle. So let's practice with an example. For the example to the right, it says in circle P, the angle measure is equal to 90 degrees and the radius is equal to 12 centimeters. What is the area of the shaded region? Notice the angle they gave us is in the shaded region. So we're good. We can plug that into the formula. We also know that the radius is equal to 12 centimeters, which is also good. That's something we can plug into the formula. So now we put all this stuff into the formula, 90 over 360 times pi times 12 squared. And I'm just gonna type it all in my calculator. When we type all this stuff into our calculator, let's just round our answer to one decimal place. So the answer is 113.1 square centimeters. That is the area of the shaded region. Let's try another example. So just some reminders that this guy to the left is the formula to find the area of a sector. And that symbol represents the angle measure in degrees of the sector. It has to be in degrees for us to use this formula. So for example two, it says in circle P, the angle measure is 120 degrees and we see the angle measure is in the area that is not the shaded region. So I'm gonna label that. And the radius is equal to nine inches. And the question says, what is the area of the region that is not shaded? Well, lucky for us, they gave us the angle measure in degrees of the area that is not shaded. So now all we have to do is plug this stuff into the formula. So, in our formula, we'll write 120 over 360 times pi times nine squared. And we put all that stuff into our calculators and all this stuff in our calculators will give us 82.8 square inches. And that is the area of the non-shaded region. And that's it.